think I'm going to need my coat today, love. Michael, okay, four o'clock today, love, yeah? Because it's Monday and Drew's on his own and he's got to be away by five o'clock, okay? Okay. Do you need me to do anything else? No, love. No, just the order. Yeah, the honey pot. You know our little organic shop run by Drew and Maisie? Look, I've written the order in your black book. Okay? Right. And I've stuck a £20 note in your wallet. So I'll put your book and the wallet in the hall. Yep? Okay. All right, love. Have a good day. All right. Bye bye. bye. <laughs> Well, I'll email you a um, copy over. All right, yeah, now I must go. All right, take care, bye. Hi, Drew. Hi, Jenny. Mike's still not here yet. Ah, okay. I've got to be away by five. You know me on Mondays. Yeah, no, I do appreciate that. Um, can you give him an extra five minutes? Yeah, okay. I'm sure he'll be there any minute, honestly. All right, thanks, Drew. Bye. Colin, what are you doing here? What well, you know? Hey, do you see the guy? No. Not on the roundabout? No. Trying to play around midnight. That's, well, that's not going to work. It's half past five. Just one or two rounds on the bike. Just while the while the lights get you know. Just bear with me because I think it's a. Oh God, Mike. Uh, 
Mike, we agreed at the last rehearsal that you were going to step down from the organisational stuff. It's getting too much for you, mate. You can come to the odd rehearsal, but if we've got a gig, do you know what I'm saying? Shall I ring Jenny? Oh, come on. It's okay, Michael. I, I know you're upset about what happened with the band. I, I spoke with Colin, you know. I don't think it's the end. But, you know, he suggested that maybe he could still pop along, you know? Just listen to the odd rehearsal and still play a bit. Why don't we talk about Emily's wedding? Look, Emily, your niece. Oh, come on, we always have a good time at family gatherings. <laughs> what happened last time? Auntie Sylvia trying to kiss the curate. I, I don't think going to Emily's wedding is a good idea. I have to remember all, everybody's names and, and Emily's. And, well, you could just sit at the back. I, I don't want to sit at the back. I know, but you always enjoy the music. Okay. No, it's... It's okay, Michael. We could do something together. You know, there's a new choir starting at St Wilfrid's. Why don't we try that? about the new bookshop. They're always wanting volunteers if you're tired. But you could help with the music books, couldn't you? What about writing a new song again? You know, having your own little project. You'd like that. Stop doing that for a minute, please. Ma I'm sorry. I I'm sorry, love. Look, I'll talk to Diane again. You know, the dementia advisor. That might help. Where are my scores? I brought them down. So he can have his good days, you know, like when he was helping Tom wash the car. But there's other days when he doesn't even want to get out of bed, not even play saxophone. This morning, he put all the unopened posts into the recycling bin. Yeah, but at the end of the day, that's where it all belongs. Yeah, but I shouted at him. You know, I just get really frustrated. And then I've had to write to Emily, our niece, and tell her we're not going to the wedding. I've been looking forward to that wedding for months. And then last night we had a couple of friends ring up and they wanted us to go to this jazz gig. I didn't want to go. I mean, I nearly went, but... Well, I didn't, out of guilt. I tell you what, we have an orchestra concert coming up. I wonder if Michael could come along to that with us and then you could carry on and go to your jazz and another thing you might want to consider Jen is we have a regular chat and carers group that you might find useful carer why do you do this work I just like to help people adapt and to live everyday life as normal you're a good listener do you think you could come and talk to him Absolutely. Uh, I could perhaps come round tonight about 6.30. Yeah, that'd be great. Hi, 
Michael. Oh, hi. It's Diane from yesterday's meeting. Oh, yeah. You I... were telling me about those choirs and that band. Yeah. I... And you made me that lovely cup of tea. Uh, how are you? I'm all right. How are you? Yeah, not bad. You look like you're very busy. Got my hands full, definitely. <laughs> Jenny's got me cutting the hedge. Well, this is something that I need to be doing on my garden. Mine is like the Amazon. <laughs> <laughs> so what else are you up to today? Oh. Um, yeah, I've got to go to the honey pot because uh, I missed last week. Mm -hmm. I didn't pick up the groceries. Um, after that, I'm, that's me. Well, you must come along to the D Cafe, the Dementia Cafe. We serve great coffee and cake and it'd be brilliant if you could play us one of those tunes or two. All right. Uh, what would you like? Anything in particular? Maybe just one of your favourites or a special song. OK, yeah, yeah, I'll have, have a little think about it, yeah. That would be brilliant. So that's Tuesday at four o'clock. Would you like to write it in that book? Yeah, yeah. Have you got a pen? Yeah. There you go. Other people that attend as well are musicians, so they'll really, really enjoy this. Oh, It'll brilliant. brilliant. OK. Uh, sorry, could you jot the address down for me? Yes, of course I can. So this is going to be brilliant. We look forward to having you, Michael. There you go. Great. Brilliant. So we'll see you then, Michael. All right. Take care, Michael. Bye. Bye. Today. It's all ready for you. Ah, oh, yeah. Sorry about last week. Oh, no, mate. It's just that Mondays, I have to be away by five for football training. If I'm late and I have angry parents breathing down my neck. So. Yeah. Okay, so that's 18.50 as usual. Oh. I've got a £20 note. I've put the jar of coconut oil in that Jenny asked for. It's on special. I oh, know we, we did that years ago. What? Coconut oil? I think it's new on the market, Mike. No, 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 no. it was a whole routine. You know, we had um, one of the guys with, you know, the big flat hat and everything, and somebody with big puffy sleeves, and we had backing dancers, and the crowd used to go crazy, man. I mean, I personally, don't like the lyrics so much. I mean, that whole, if I was in your blood, I wouldn't be so ugly. And I mean, it's not really very pleasant. But, you know, I think he's doing a come, I'm pretty sure he's doing a comeback. They're all adamant he's doing me, a comeback. I'm, I'm really sorry, but I'm going to have to stop you there. I must shut up shop. Yeah. Come on, I'll take the 20. Right. Thanks, Rob. It's true. What's true? No, my name's Drew. Ah, yeah. <laughs> okay, sorry. It's okay, sorry. Don't worry. Ah. So, um, what age is it then? It's uh, under 15s, yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's all. Okay, then. Hey, Mike. Um, Tom's hoping to run a like, new Tai Chi class for beginners in September. How about giving that a go? Well, there's a thing with Jenny. Um, and I'm going to have a look at it and, and then we're going to have a talk about it. But thanks, thanks anyway. No okay, thanks. Cheers. Bye. Bye. We've got Michael here with us today and he's going to tell us a bit about his life in the big band and play us a tune or two, aren't you Michael? Yeah, um, I've, got, I've got some notes. Um. But we'll save autographs till the end. <laughs> I've been excited about this all day. Oh, I 
I think it's in there, Michael. This is my little black book. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah, my, my name's Michael, and uh, I first got interested in music when my uh, granddad uh, used to play his harmonica. I find that at a range of yeah. to play, I think, because it was so big. Uh, but then, strangely enough, I started getting very talented. So, uh, so yeah, I'll um, I can show you the instrument if you like and uh, and see what it's all about. So this is the uh, this is the the saxophone itself. Uh, obviously, you can see it's. Uh, it looks quite complicated, but really, it's just um, these things are just to stop up the uh, the air, you know, like any kind of wind instrument. These are the pads. Uh, obviously, uh, probably you might have uh, when it's not working, is you get legal pads. Which, uh, <laughs> nobody wants really. So. Um, okay, this is the crook. Um, it's obviously called the crook for a reason. This is the shape. Uh, it's quite stiff. Oh, that's it. And. Um, and then I'll just um, put the. So yeah, the sorry. I think um, I'll just. Sorry about that. Um, this is my wife, Jenny. Um, this is the other woman in my life. Um, so now I can finally play what I was going to play, which is uh, a song called um, Maps, Maps of, uh, to My Furthest Land. <laughs> Mm-hmm. 